Hello, welcome back to the Columbus Euro Jackets. Uh, it is the start of the 2008-2009 season. Uh, we uh, just concluded the preseason, so we're diving right into uh, the regular season. I didn't think I was going to get a sim in tonight, uh, but I am going to get it done. I'll get the uh, regular season done at the very least. And uh, I just witnessed St. Louis defeating the Colorado Avalanche in overtime, so they extend that series. Okay, well, that's one distraction out the window. Uh, this is video number 11, by the way. And yeah, we are ready to cook here. And let's take a quick look at what we accomplished last year in case uh, uh, you forgot, like myself, for example. Uh, <laughs> uh, we did not make the playoffs last season. Um, we finished the season with 35 wins and 38 losses. Uh, meantime, in the NHL, the Dallas Stars got it done. So with that being said, let's get this show on the road. Okay, so let's get this show going. We have... Um, I'm going to take a quick look at our team here. We did uh, change things up, obviously, in the offseason here. Uh, we have uh, Freddie Anderson here, uh, our new starter. We also added uh, Roman Yossi. And we also have, uh, my goodness gracious, who do we else we add? I thought we added one more player. Okay. I guess it was just those two? I guess so. Okay, well, let's see how it goes. Looks like Rito Berra is, uh, well, he got in at least. He'll be a factor. Uh, Seidenberg having a really good start. We haven't seen him in that category yet before pop up. And we're off to a pretty good start, to be honest. Okay, yeah, but that's not good. We just lost Franz Nielsen. Uh, probably most likely for the season. And we've got Brunner as well. We'll probably need reinforcements. I think. I guess not. We'll definitely need it now. Look at the injury bug. Wow. The injury bug has hit us significantly. Uh, we need uh, two left wingers and a center mid. Wolski and Regan. We'll try David Wolf. Why not? We got a trade offer. Zhitnik, Carter Rowney. Would be a decent trade, but. Doesn't meet the criteria, obviously. Reed Obera still playing. Put up decent numbers for us. You like to see that. Some more waivers. Nothing that can help us here. No, we do get Brunner back. Patrick Fisher on waivers, a former player of ours. Let's take a quick look. Uh, nothing too impressive there. Patrick Thorson injured now for us. All right, now 
to get some more guys back. We're now we're cooking here. We get our leadership crew back in Hasht and Vanek. Let's see your last indeed day. You know, I'm just going to put these guys on the injury list. Seidenberg still up there in assists. Good to see. He is our main guy. Now that straight is gone. He definitely is taking a lot of the offensive um, opportunities. Salter out two to three weeks. Okay. I think we'll need a, most likely be a defenseman up. Let's take a look. Yeah. Let's try Babchuk. Lawson is really. Well, I guess. <laughs> Never mind. Our just their depth is. I was expecting to see Lawson number two on the depth chart, but. Our depth on D isn't very good exactly, so. I mean, our depth is good, but we don't have anybody really elite after. Uh, Schnevsky's out for the season, that hurts. So now, um, now we have two guys out for the season. I believe it was Brunner. Uh, Andrew List. <coughs> Nielsen. Nielsen out for a long time. Okay, let's try. Let's go with Yannick Weber. Doing everything out of my power to avoid getting Alexi Zhitnik up. Need. All right, Thorson back up. So I can, as you can see here, quite the, quite the injury list. But we're playing well, but we're playing well. Okay. Wolf can go back down. Let's look at Weber. Uh, Weber. Do we need Weber? Weber, Weber. Yeah, we're okay. Okay. Rio Vera continues to impress at a, uh, I'm assuming what is a uh, backup role. We will check right now, actually. And who is controlling our financial settings? I am. Now, you know what? If it ain't broke, don't fix it, kind of guy. That's my. That's my thing. Sure. Okay, back to you. The uh, so Anderson is uh, nine and four, and Rio Barrow is six and two. So uh, both goalies playing very well. Very very well. Vanek, twenty two points. Grabner, nice to see that he stepped up huge this season. Kopitar playing well. Hasn't really exploded yet. I don't know if he will. Hopefully, he will. Hansen is starting to become a regular player for us. So, Seidenberg, zero goals, but 12 assists. So, there's something. Uh, yeah, Zuccarello, hopefully, will be a nice regular for us. So, not bad. Not a bad, uh, not a bad lineup so far. Scoring summary. On to January. There's Anderson, so our goalies are definitely leading the charge for us. Uh, yeah, so I'm heading into December, heading towards Christmas, uh, we're first place in the division. So 
So that ain't bad. That ain't bad. Let's get uh, Weaver back. I don't know if it's Weaver or Weber. I don't know. He's Swiss, so it's, you know, Shea Weber is Canadian, right? So uh can't assume that it's Weber. It might be Weber. You know, the European way, you know. Uh, Seidenberg injured now. That's obviously not ideal. We're going to let him heal up, though, as well as Lawson. Who should we call up? Altman hasn't really stepped up at all. Diaz. Let's try Diaz. I don't think he's played with us yet. No, oh, yeah, he did play one game last year. <laughs> oh, Seltzer is back. Okay. Oops. That helps out. Yeah, we're missing Seidenberg. And we got another trade proposal here. Drasnovic, Croat. Uh, from Masalkiskis. Oh, yeah, I forgot we had him on the block. Now we're good there. Oh, now I just saw that Ozilnish is out for a while. One to two months with a fractured jaw. Just put a cage on it, man, and get back in there. Okay. Okay. Sein oh, Seinberg is back already? Wow. That was, that was quick. That was pretty quick. Vanek injured now. We're not gonna risk anything. Gonna put him out for a little bit. We're at Christmas here, and at the new year, we are first place in the division. Happy New Year to us, indeed. In the conference, we are third place. So that's not too shabby. Third in points, leading the division, but a ten month, uh, sorry, ten points buffer. And let's take a quick look at the scoring summary. So yeah, so Vanek is out right now, so I'm assuming he's in, he's in our lead. But uh, Grabner having a good year, and so forth. Freddie Anderson, twelve and eight. It'll bear a 10 and 5. He's been pretty good for us. No problems there. Now let's take a look at our contract situation. Damien Brunner. Renew him. Let's renew uh, Lawson. And who else we got? Babchuk. Grabner. Thorson. Oh, I think these guys are already resigned. Gotcha. Diaz will uh we'll renew Diaz. Morton Green, sure. Saltzer. 
Giddy up. Everybody's over 60. That's pretty darn good. I'd like to see that. <laughs> pretty good from top to bottom. Uh, pretty coherent team, it looks like. I haven't even had to look at the trade dead block. Uh, trade <laughs> dead block. Trade. Uh, <laughs> Trade block. Wow, look! I just I just got uh, sidetracked by looking at those stars beside Vanek. This guy is a uh, is a superstar, no doubt. No doubt, Seidenberg uh, looks like he's out one to two months. Even Evo John, one of our former players, played well for us. We will look at the uh, trade block closer to the deadline. Obviously still taking in offers. Uh, Yossi suspended. Janssen out oh, for a while. Another trade offer. Won't work. Mike Greer. Good player. Good player back in the day. Oh, I'm going to take a look at, uh, I didn't look at uh, minor league contracts. Uh, I've already auto-qualified uh, Salskis, I guess. Uh, Rene Bauer, no. Ozo. We'll bring Ozo back if he wants to. Doesn't want to. Shitnik will pass on. I ain't known a no. Schopper, no. Drexinger, no. Regan, well, qualify. All right, well, that was easy peasy. Okay. Ozonish comes back. Doesn't want to come back next year, though, but I think he might be retiring. Definitely useful piece right now. Okay. Jonas Hiller, I see, is doing pretty well. Wherever he's at there. Okay. Scratchedins. I'll go with Diaz, I guess. Where's Hiller at? Yan Denis, too, doing really good. Both those players, I believe, are of. Uh, both those guys are Swiss, I think. No, Yan, sorry, Yan Denis is Canadian. Sw different name, isn't it? Uh, yeah, for some reason I thought he was Swiss. That was weird. He's getting a lot of starts there in Calgary over Jaguar. Interesting. But Hiller playing really good over there. Ozo injured. Oh, where are we going with this guy? And Babchuk also out to the injury list. We'll need a guy. Raf is the guy. 
Okay, so we're hanging on to first in the division. I'm not sure if we're going to hang on to get it, but we're hanging on. St. Louis is creeping right on us. Chicago not far behind. Seidenberg coming back will be a huge boost, no doubt. Babchuk is also back. And Vanek is injured again. Another trade offer. It is uh, somebody who does qualify for us. Let's take a look at our goaltending situation here. So we could really use a. We have a lot of. Uh, we have a lot of defensemen like this already. Um, that's so much so that we can't even fit them all in over here. But we are going to be releasing a few. Better get something than nothing, I guess, right? I'll uh, accept this deal. Almost in March. Okay, let's get to the trade deadline. Let's see if anybody else we want on the block. Everybody's good here. Uh, I think Zhitnik is the only guy who can get realistic to get anything for. So we will get to the deadline and take a look at the trade block. Maybe get an offer for Zhitnik. Okay, save old, save old. Okay, okay, oh, Gabrick, Slovakian. Roman Wick. Uh, interesting. Interesting. Dan Boyle. Daryl Boyle. <laughs> okay. Dam. Sebastian Dam. Okay, I'll be uh I'll uh I'll put in a an inquiry for Roman Wick. Left defense and goaltender. Well, Zhidnik is a left defenseman. Yes, he is. Okay. Where is our guy Zhidnik? We got Spiza down there, too. Yeah, I don't I didn't think they would. Uh, okay. Okay, so I got something here. We're close. Just gonna double check here. Ah, oh, he's actually pretty good. I 
I don't know if I want to give this up. Look at this. 18, 15, 16, 15. That's that's uh, that's nice. Okay, let's see if we could toss in a pick here and see if we could get it done. What's it gonna take? Uh, we don't got it. Oh, third next year. And we can't sign an RFA though. Not worth it for Roman Wick. Who's yeah, not that good to be honest. I'm gonna pass. We're gonna roll. We are rolling. Diaz is the guy to go down. All right, Ozo's back now as well. Who are our options? We have a lot of defensemen, I think. We've got eight defensemen, so who's going down? It's going to be Sulcer. We've taken back first. Going to be a battle right to the end, one of the weaker divisions. Uh, as I can tell here, weakest division in uh, the NHL, but it is what it is. Hansen out two to three weeks. Fritchie is suspended. Give somebody else a shot. Not too bad. Okay, Brunner, Lassen. Lassen is out for a little bit. Brunner, just day to day. I think we're missing a. Oh, we could use a right winger for sure. Moser. Well, let's give it a shot. How are things looking here with Moser? Okay, we got a goal. That's cool. Brunner still injured. Looking at Dominic Kelly available. But that's okay. Okay, Hansen is back. We can send down Moser. Babchuk injured. Uh, he's available, but severe calf laceration. I don't know about this. Game available. Let me take a look at how he does next game. Kelly Fisher on the block, but they're not that great. Okay, let's take a look at how 
that went down. He's not going to be playing because he's. Yeah. Babchuk simply will not, will not be playing. Injury list for him. That's weird. Laceration and he can still play? I don't think so. What's up with that? Okay. So that's the season right there. We did it. We won the division. Awesome. 95 points. I believe that is a record for us. It is. Our previous record was 87. With 41 wins, we got 46 wins this season. There you have it, folks. Vanek is now our all-time leading point getter and goal getter. Win leader, uh, interesting enough, Rio Berra has taken over the reins for us. Freddie Anderson has been uh, 18 and 15, while Rio Berra has been 28 and 18. Uh, so he is the starter right now. And we just lost Hashed. Game to day to day, day to day. Okay, so hopefully they'll be back. Okay, so let's uh, let's get to towards the playoffs. Um, we're only thirty minutes into this um, into this video, so let's let's give it a go. All right, moving on. Next game. Okay. Out of curiosity, see if there we go. There we go, Volodymyr Zelensky. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Vesna, Rio Barra, nothing. No, okay. There we go. That's cool. That's cool. That's rare. They usually they don't. They didn't really go for the sleeper team. Oh, we got Colorado first round. Uh, is, is that a lot, a lot more intimidating than it sounds, or? Uh, still a pretty good team. Uh, not as scary as they could be, but a pretty good team. No doubt about it. Freddie Anderson, interesting enough, gets the start. It's 6 nothing win. Thomas Vanek with the game winner. Uh, yeah, lots of multiple point games for our players. What a way to start the playoffs. Game two. A five two and Colorado just comes right back. Returns the favors and dumps us at home. Series is now tied one one. Okay, we take game three. Kopitar with the game winner. Coming up huge. We've lost Fritchie. Fritchie has been a really good important player for us. So, uh, yeah, we're going to keep him. We're not going to put him on the air. We want him back ASAP. ASAP. Vitaly Vishnevsky is back. Interesting. Oops. Nope. We can. I wonder if he'll factor into the defensive core. He does. He goes right to the first pairing. Now we lose for nothing. Vishnowski, not a good game. We're actually gonna send him down. Yeah, he really done goofed that one. Series is tied two uh, two and we take a three two lead thanks to Damian Brunner's game winner. And Vanek chipped in. Low scoring game, three two series lead. On to game six. And Colorado wins it uh, four to one. So now we're heading to game seven. Our, uh... I want 
uh, Zuccarello. Make sure he plays. Make sure Zook plays. Game seven. And we do win it. There we go, folks. We have won our first ever playoff round. Our first playoff series win over the Colorado Avalanche. We are advancing to the second round. Here we go. Game winner by... So it was 2-1. We got a game winner in the third period. Uh, no, we didn't score in the third period. Uh, Roman Yossi uh, scored in the second. Uh, Brad Larson scored for the Avalanche in the uh, third period, but could not... Um, they couldn't get the tie game tie goal. So we are heading to the second round. Let's go. A lot of game sevens, actually. There's a lot of game sevens. We got the Sharks next. Let's take a look at what the Sharks... Uh, I think the Sharks are pretty good. Um, they used to be better. Still a good team, pretty similar to Colorado, uh, but definitely, I think, beatable, I would say. Let's hope so. But we are going on the road for game one. 3-1. We're not scared of anything. Thomas Vanek leads the way for us. Despite Mika Kirpasov standing on his head, we get the win. 3-1. Oh, I spotted Toronto Montreal in the playoffs. That would be a lot of fun to watch. Let's go. Let's go. 4 1. Patrick Thorson, game winner. Uh, Yannick Weber, two assists. Brunner, two points. Zuccarello chipping in. And we, folks, have our first thunderstorm here in Edmonton, Alberta. Not sure if you heard that, but it is happening. Okay. First thunderstorm of the season, I meant, obviously. Not first ever, all time. Okay, so. Oh, game three. Don't mind if I do. Uh, Freddie Anderson with a shutout. Grabner, three points. Jared up two points. Let's go. On to game four. They get the win. 3-1 series now. Uh, we just, they came out and they wanted more. That's, that's that. Dan Fritsch returns to the lineup. He's unable to help us. It's now a 3-2 series lead. So we got to hang on here. What are we doing here? All right, let's, let's get it. Let's get it done here. Let's get it done. We're in Columbus. Let's go. We do get it done. Huge. Sandiz Ozlnish in overtime. Sends the Columbus Euro Jackets to the Western Conference Finals. Let's go. Versus the Calgary Flames. Now, I know they're a pretty good team. I know they're pretty good. Yeah, they're, they're pretty good. They're not non-stoppable, non-beatable. But they're pretty damn good. So this is going to be a heck of a challenge for us. How do we stack up? So we're getting by on... Um, sure will. Because I'm pretty sure if you add up all the stars, we've been the underdog in every single series. So we're getting by on something here. We're getting, <laughs> we're getting by on unhappiness. So the whole... Happiness, morale thing, that thing's all garbage. I've had happy guys. Didn't do anything. I got guys who are pissed off right now and we're crushing right now. So we're in the final four. We're in the final four. Honestly, I, I, uh, surprise, obviously. And wasn't expecting that, uh, but we're here. So let's play the game. Let's frustrate the flames at the very least. Three, uh, four, three loss. So that is a frustration game. Uh, loss in overtime. So that's more frustrating on our end. 
a game that we could have won. You hate to see it. You hate to see it. Five three. Okay, now we're cooking. Stefan Lassen, not known for his goal scoring, gets the game winner. Four goals in the third period for us. That's huge. We're going back to Columbus. We've taken back a home ice advantage. 4-3 win. Huge. Andrzej Kopitar with the game winner in the third period. Huge. A hat trick for Kopitar, may I add. Thank you very much. Taking a 2-1 series lead. Now on to game four. Another win. Matt Zuccarello with the game winner. Three goals in the third period. We absolutely woke up. Thorson two points. Brunner two points. A shutout. 3-1 series lead for the Euro Jackets. Uh, we've got a couple yellows. Okay. Nothing crazy. On to game five. And there you have it, folks. The Columbus Zero Jackets are on their way to the Stanley Cup Finals. No way. No way. This is, un this is crazy. Okay. This is wild. Wow. Okay. Um... Yeah, uh, this, this, this is crazy. Uh, I did not expect this. This is, yeah, um, quite quite a pleasant surprise. So now we have the Toronto Maple Leafs in the final. So they've been waiting for a while to, uh, to win a cup. Uh, Toronto Maple Leafs are, look good, but nothing... Uh, beyond what we have, but they have, you know, Giroux. We're gonna have to stop Giroux somehow. Boland is pretty good. Uh, but yeah, I think I think we match up pretty good against these guys. We'll find out, I guess, won't we? Game one. Columbus, Toronto for the Stanley Cup. Toronto takes game one. Uh, I think we have home ice advantage here. We do. So they've stolen it from us. Game two. 7 nothing answer. Now that's an answer. Dan Fritchie, the game winner. Anderson with a shutout. Hesh, 3 points. Gotch, 3 points. We just took them out. Took them out. Wonder what how they answer in uh, uh, game 3. Because that, that was quite the, quite the lopsided win for us. 3 nothing. So Toronto hasn't scored in 2 games. Andrzej Kopitar with the game winner hashed three points. Huge, huge, huge. No, uh, yeah, hashed. Yeah, hashed. That's right. Kopitar with the game winner. Somebody's injured for us. Shkrastens. Day to day. All right. Oh, he looked like he was... He was one of our defensemen there. Who do we trust? Uh, Tyler Vishnevsky. Let's give him another shot. He's got some really good ratings. Let's give him another shot. And we do get it done. 3-1 series lead. Thomas Vanek with the game-winning goal. This is huge. This is huge, folks. This is absolutely huge. And there you have it, folks. The Columbus Euro Jackets are the Stanley Cup champions. I am absolutely dumbfounded how we did this. I have no idea how it came together this year. Um, I was just hoping just to get into the playoffs. Um, this is absolutely stunning developments. Um, I, I can't believe I can't believe that uh, we got it done this year. I, we just wanted to be better, but um, yeah, these guys just uh, yeah. Look look at the ability of some of these guys. Like 
like it's nothing nothing too crazy but uh yeah i don't know what to tell you we got it done we got it done folks wow um let's take a look at the scoring summary let's take a look at the scoring summary In the playoffs, we got Damian Brunner, 23 points for us. Massive, massive, massive. I think I think we traded for him. We did. What a huge trade this was. This was a big, big trade for us. Uh, Thomas Vanek, huge for us. Kopitar, Gotch. Let's take a look at the goaltending stats. 16-6, 189, 9-33. I'm going to save this game right now because it's thundering pretty bad outside. And I don't want the power outage here. Uh, Freddie Anderson, absolutely huge, 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 huge. Who's taking the... Who's taking the... Con Smythe. Incredible. Damian Brunner, I didn't say his name a lot in game winning or multiple points, but gosh darn it, did he. Santa Zolzanich, huge presence for us. Leading the defense and scoring. But yeah, it starts it started in goal for us, no doubt about it. But look at some of these plus minuses. Seidenberg, Yossi. That's awesome. Wojtek Wolski. Look at his defense. Look at that. Plus 12 in the playoffs. How? Amazing. Absolutely incredible. Wow, wow, wow. Fireworks were lighting up the night sky in Columbus tonight after the Columbus Euro Jackets pulled out a dramatic Stanley Cup win. The Stanley, the, <laughs> the Euro Jackets edged the Toronto Maple Leafs by a score of 5-2 in, in con conclusive game of the finals. As Euro Jackets supporters at Nationwide Arena were going crazy, so too were those watching at home. Police were said to be allowing celebrations to spill into the streets of Columbus, but were urging the, re the revelers to remain reasonable and responsible. Unlike the Edmonton Oilers fans uh, last night after defeating Calgary in Game 4. It was crazy. It was absolutely crazy. Uh, some kid climbed up on some sign and uh, drank a bottle of whiskey and proceeded to puke everywhere. Uh, and I'm assuming hitting fans. So, yeah. Um, probably something like that happening in Columbus right now. Um, awesome. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I'm really intrigued to see who did did we do we see who got the consmite here? Uh I don't think so. Wow, that was awesome. That was awesome. Right, let's get to the awards. So, we have achieved our goal. Uh, we are Sonic of Champions. Conn Smythe going to Johnny Pitkin. Ah, oh, come on, come on. That's cringe. That's just cringy. You give it to a guy who didn't even lead the... <laughs> oh, yeah, of course, they didn't get the G. Okay, that's cringy. Yeah, see, so this this game has a lot of a lot of quirks here. I mean, how you don't give it to Freddie Anderson is it's just... It just blows... Yeah, it's just it's crazy. Absolutely crazy. What a bad glitch. What a bad, bad glitch. Yikes. Uh, but anyways, it's not going to take away from... Uh, this right here, this is what 
it counts. This is what it's all about. Is our name in the history already? In the history books? <laughs> you bet your, bet your ass it is. Columbus Blue Jackets. Euro Jackets, sorry. And here we go. Team history. One championship. Playoffs. Second time in the playoffs. Champion. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. Real bear. Seven shutouts. In seven twenty eight wins. That's impressive. This is awesome. Absolutely awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So Stanley Cup champions. We achieved our goal. It took us uh this is video let's see what do I what did I say? This is video number eleven. So we got the job done in a reasonable amount of time. It took longer because I'm only doing once a week. Um yeah, thank you very much for keeping uh uh keeping interest in this story. It was it was a difficult one. Uh for one, first and foremost, it's because it's not hockey season anymore, in my opinion. Uh despite the NHL playoffs going on, it's just you know, with the nice weather, you know, you don't want to be by a computer all day, especially, you know, in my uh, regular job, I'm on a computer all day, so try not to get on a, be on a computer all day, obviously. So the next story, there might be a delay, I'm not 100% sure, um, but I will be back. Um, if it's not next week, uh, it will be at some point. Um, it might be, it might be all, it might be a summer vacation for me coming up here. Um, this is huge. I I'm gonna be partying after this Stanley Cup championship for a while. I'm gonna be hungover for a long time. Let me tell you, the Columbus Euro Jackets, uh, this championship. Uh, this is probably the most um gratifying one, the the the, the sweetest one I would say, because it was so unexpected. Um, awesome. Just awesome, and especially it's it's almost like the game knew, like we needed this, you know, like it sensed like you know this, these guys have earned it, you know, these guys have been through a little bit, so um, for us to the doors opening for us, and we beat some pretty good teams along the way too, uh, no no joke, uh, we definitely went the hard way through the Avs and the Sharks and the Flames and the, and the Leafs, and that's not an easy road, and we got it done, um, yeah I. Yeah, just uh, I, I, it's been an unbelievable story. It's been a, it's a really cool idea. Um, thank you to the suggester. Something I always wanted to do. Uh, I never really customized a, a game like this before, or had these kind of restrictions or or uh, on my on myself with uh, uh, which flags are allowed to play on the team. And um, but yeah, it's been really really fun. And, and again, I don't want to bury any of these stories uh, forever. They can be. Rekindled one day. You know, I have all these saved, saved obviously, and um, this isn't, this isn't goodbye forever. So, uh, this story can could definitely come back, and we can see if we can create a dynasty out of this by chance. Um, I don't want to test it right now. I'm happy with this one cup, and uh, I believe the Dallas Stars uh, will be next. I believe the I believe the story is surrounded uh, of Dallas uh, arriving uh, for their their first season from Minnesota. So that will be interesting. The only one, one cup in Dallas. They've only won one cup since. So the goal there would, will be to win um, more than one cup. Uh, so with that being said, thank you very much for watching. And I hope you've enjoyed this story. Uh, it was a struggle, but way worth it. Uh, now that we have lifted the cup, uh, it wasn't easy. It took It took long. To get the stories out. Uh, but my goodness, worth it. Uh, incredible run. Uh, and I can't believe we got it done. So thank you very much for watching it once more. I've already said this 13 times, I think. But, anyways, uh, I will be back. Uh, it might not be uh, soon. Uh, might be taking a summer vacation here away from um, these streams. And again, uh, it's funner when. It's hockey season. It's fun to do the streams during hockey season and um, and so forth. And um, but anyways, 
uh, and we'll be back and we'll be able to continue off where right, we started where we finished off of I guess well that doesn't make any sense because I'm starting Dallas so I'm putting this one to sleep for now and I hope you enjoyed it and thank you very much for watching one more time and I will see you again soon <laughs>